And when you're dreaming, you're sleeping, imagine you're dreaming, you're in your home, and your home is in fire. It cut fire, and you're dreaming, and you're having this great dream, whatever it is. You're making love to this beautiful person in this dream, or you're walking on a beach hand in hand with your soulmate, but you're in a dream, and the house is burning. And your dad runs in home and is shaking you and is saying, wake up, wake up, and gets you out of, wants to wake you up because the roof of the house, your bedroom is going to fall on you and you're going to be burned and die. And you're like, leave me alone. I don't want to wake up. I'm in this beautiful dream. And your dad, your mom is shaking you and finally they're, they're waking you up. And it's disturbing because you're walking on a beach with your sweetheart. You're dreaming that you're with this twin flame of yours. And now someone wants to drag you out of it. And of course, you're resisting to it. And you're disturbed that they woke you up. But when you wake up and you realize smoke is everywhere, fire is everywhere, and they're dragging you out of the house to save your life, then... You are appreciative of it and you're grateful. Otherwise, you would have been dead or you would have been badly burned. So, and the same thing is happening right now. The structures of the dream are about to fall apart. They are falling apart. And any attempt to hanging on to it is a waste of time. So the best is to accelerate into this thing of, okay, all right, I want to wake up. You are waking up. But waking up to the truth of who you are, not to what you were dreaming, not to what you were thinking you were, but to what you really are. And what are you? What is the truth of who you are? Have you ever questioned that? Have you ever asked that question yourself? Because we're so deeply conditioned to be in this dream and sleep. And then when existence, or as Papaji, my sad guru, used to say, the merciful guru appears in your dream through the grace of Her Majesty, Lord God, and wakes you up and fish you out of this nightmare and saves you to awaken to who you really are. And then you're freed. And the exact same thing is happening right now. Exactly same thing. It's really happening this time, big time, to this planet, to the inhabitants of this planet. That's what's happening. It's a wake-up call. It's a waking up. Waking up to the truth of who we are. That's what's going on. If you're in case wondering why it's happening, what's happening is directed under the straight order and supervision of Ishwara, Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, has decided on this. This is God's will. Not any, no one else, everybody else is a peon in this story, whomever you want to think about and talk about. Everybody else is a peon. Forget about it. They're nothing. There's nobody. They're all employees. They're all servants of the boss. This is God's will. I don't want to sound religion or corny, okay? 
religious or corny and da 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 da. No, I'm just being straightforward of what's going on right now. What is happening right now? No one has any power, any force to do anything unless the Supreme Soul allows it to be. If the Supreme does not allow it to be, it cannot happen. As simple as that. And this is what's happening. We were talking about the ascension to fifth dimension. We're talking about awakening the new Akorian era and the shift of the human consciousness. Yeah, but put this idea of the utopian planet Earth out of your mind. Because that's another implanted idea in your head that you're going to be living on a planet Earth that is all peaches and cream. And it's all brotherly love and blah, 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 blah. And everything goes your way and everything is according to these pictures that you have. Forget about that one. That's just a picture in your head. It's not about that type of shift. The one you're going to enter into, you cannot imagine it. It's an inner shift. The one you're thinking about is an other shift. You're thinking about a utopian world that everything looks like these images or pictures you have seen. But it's still an other world. It's a world outside of yourself. That's not the real thing. That one's still an imagination. Shift your attention from that one. That's not real. That's bullshit. That's another dream. This one is an in internal, internal revolution. It's a shift internally, inside yourself. It has nothing to do with the world you're seeing outside of yourself. Is this making any sense? I hope you understand what I'm saying. I hope you grog. You grog this. I hope you get what I'm saying. Or at least it clicks something. Any attempt to create an other world outside, including your thoughts, your emotions, and your body, of a utopian world is your waste of your time. It's not going to happen. And if it happens, it's going to be a short period of time and then it's going to crumble again because it's not real. That's not the world you want to invest your time and energy on. You have to go inside and look for that world which is within yourself and that's where the shift is. That's where it's changing and invest in that one because that is the one that doesn't change. 